And welcome to lower downtown Denver on a perfect afternoon for baseball and to celebrate dad Giants and Rockies and yesterday the Rockies won five to one they're trying to do something they've never done before and that is sweep the Giants in a four game set they're nine and one so far against San Francisco this year they've won eight consecutive games against the Giants Tyler Chatwood makes his way to the mound and the first man he'll face is Denard Spann veteran and future Hall of Fame skipper Joe Panic will bat second Brandon Crawford is back in there. He'll play shortstop at that third. Posey's behind the plate. Brandon Belt struggling this year. He'll be in the five hole. He has hit 292 lifetime against Chatwood. Austin Slater, he's, he's the toughest out of the lineup of late. <laughs> Aaron Hill, Gorky's Hernandez, Ty Block at a Regis High School will pitch and bat ninth. Well, it's the first time at home in a while for Chatty. Out on the road, as Spilly was uh, telling us, he's been sensational. Chatwood's ready. Tom Murphy's ready to receive him. And the first pitch is low ball one. And hit edges. And then when you don't get rewarded for it, it's tough. Well, a uh, leadoff walk as Bud Black's 1 2 runner going. Swung on and missed. Throw to second. It's going to go into center field. And Span will not move up as Charlie, as all good center fielders should do, is moving. And once the throws in motion and then he'll do it both with his fastball but it's more importantly with his off speed pitches that's going to get span to third he went back to the bag Which, that was surprising by span not knowing exactly where story was that's just a base running mistake but it is a gift with Crawford takes off and it's a shot did they get the out safe there the run will count wow I think he might I be out of second thought story was on the bag with the naked eye before the slide by Crawford. That's a great play by DJ LeMayhew. And with the freshly watered infield, sometimes your feet will slip out from underneath you as you go to make the play. And DJ's did momentarily. He's out. He's out. Because he didn't slide going in to the bag. There's no seeing it. They're already making the call. Of course, the umpires have to wait. And the Rockies are starting to come off the field now. You can go ahead and mark it in your book, folks. <laughs> High fives. What a play by DJ. And here comes the official call. 4-6-3, inning ending, double. Picked him up. DJ will bat second. Then it's Arenado, Reynolds, Desmond, Cargo in the sixth spot. Trevor Story, Tom Murphy, and Tyler Chatwood to face Regis. High school's tie block. F tie is 26, a couple years older. And a strikeout of Blackman to begin for block with good stuff. You don't have to be overpowering with the fastball. And block throws out LeMayhew. Steamboat or Hayden, you have another one that's uh, where, where's Omaha. Omaha. Yep. Those College World Series tournaments are fun. This ball's lined to right. It's going to be fair. It's going to be extra bases into that corner. Gorky's Hernandez has to play chase and with two outs. Oh, now no one's going to pick it up. He hesitates. He says, you know what? I want a triple. <laughs> you got a triple. That's his third three-bagger of the year. He just lulled them into that because I thought he was going to shut down, shut it down. At, at second base, Subaru, Supermo, inside out, swing, four. Nolan and he has been an absolute wrecking ball in the first inning with extra base hits this year that's his 12th takes the lead away from Conforto Otto is at third outside and that will allow Ian Desmond to hit here in the first and Desmond hits it on the ground the third and San Francisco Works out of it first. Not a flyer. This is a double play ball. Here's one, and there's two. That's the wonderful thing about a guy who can produce a lot of ground balls. Even if he produces traffic with one pitch, he can get out of it. We witnessed that <laughs> now after the uh, base hit by Belt Slater, who was behind or ahead in the count, hits into the 6 4 3. Two outs on Hill, and he pulls it to third. Generally, that's not a good thing for the opposition. 
Father's Day at Coors Field. Cargo will lead it off in the bottom of the second, and he lines the ball to deep right field, and it is going to be caught out there. Multiple schools, Regis, also Smoky Hill. And that hit him on a follow-through swing in spring training. Block works a 1-2-3 second inning, and it is a real worthy read. Nolan on the move, safe. It'll be a bunt single for Gorky's Hernandez. Murphy's going to have one play. Wasn't sure at first if he was going to give Hernandez a shot, so it is a good bunt by Block. To have that many yeah. hard throwers at one time in a rotation. And this is not hit hard enough to do anything but run to the bag if you're Mark Reynolds. Two outs before bullpens were really prominent. This ball's well hit left center field. Charlie on the move. He's going to make the catch. Oh, he had two hits. That's what he had a double and a single in the game. And he pops this one up to shallow left field. Backpedaling is Crawford. One out. That's five in a row set down by Block. Arizona will be here Tuesday. And this is a bouncing ball to Belt. Arizona will fly here and they'll have an off day. And the Mets have been a mess. Injury wise and performance Johnson 3 2. And that is lined to the left field corner. Man, can he hit? And he got a strikeout. Chatty has a good one. Been throwing it more often. It's a ton of spin rate on that curveball. Slowly hit the third. Nolan outside of the baseline. Of the baseline. And the call was made. So he comes and gets it. Wait, oh, I know I can get this guy. And he goes out too far. He's already being called out of the baseline by Gabe Morales. Still, Buster Posey never even gets to the bag. You have to wait as a runner to see where that throw goes and Buster got over anxious. Runner will be off 3 2 and that's ball four. So that is the third walk. And a little comeback. Nicely done by Tyler Chatwood. A weighted bat. There's another base hit for Nolan. He's doing the right thing. He's, He's taking the block other way. the other way. Yeah, and that's you what try to pull block. It's a uh, plane into his hand. Except just been that way. Takes a pitch away on the Subaru Supermo. Doesn't try to overpower, just takes what Block gives him. Because if he tries to pull that, it's a rollover or maybe an easy pop up. That's a line shot toward the gap. It'll be cut off there by Hernandez. Arenado stops at second. And a good piece of hitting again by Reynolds. Oh, double play ball. Desmond can run, but. That was Taylor made 6 4 3, and that'll take a two out knock as Cargo comes up. On an off day. And he spun one, and he got Cargo. So the Rockies had a promising inning, and it turned south in a hurry. It's the 3 2, swung on a miss. So Chatwood took him a while, but he strikes out block. 3 2 on span, and he loses him again. That's three times he's walked spans. And that's line toward Desmond. Got a good read. Now the transfer. The ball came out of the hand of Desmond. 2-1. Well hit to left field. Going back near the corner. Desmond and it goes out. A two-run opposite field home run for Crawford. His second home run in the series. And the second time he's gone oppo. Sixth home run this year. A guy that has consistently hurt the Rockies through the years. The whole year he gave up only 15 home runs, and now Chatwood has a pitch getaway at 96, and he hits Posey. 2 2 runner going, swung on and missed. So Chatwood gives up the two run home run to Brandon Crawford. This is slowly hit to third and story beating. One of the fastest trips from first to home in the StatCast era, right? And he said, you know, I imagine he's going to get some infield hits also. Gonna continue on. That's a good looking bunt. It's a six sacrifice bunt this season. 3 2. 
And Charlie pulls it to first, and Belt will run to the bag, and the Rockies do not score in the fifth. And there's a strikeout to begin the inning. Line to left, and Desmond comes on and makes the catch. 114, and this will be all for the Giants in their half of the sixth. First, one, two, three inning that was completely clean in the game for Chatwood. He said athletically he has really done a very good job. That's a good start. A walk to DJ. And then a bat. This ball lined to center field, and it is going to go all the way to the wall. DJ will get a green light from Stu Cole. He will score easily on another Nolan Arenado double. Here come the Rockies. Three fourths of the way to a cycle now for Nolan. Got the toughie out of the way for him, the triple. He's nine for 18 against the Giants in the series. Change up. He goes down and gets it on the Subaru Supermo, always burying that head. It hits another double. It's 27th of the season. And just like that, the Rockies are just trailing by one and a runner in scoring position. Up playable for Bell. So with one out, and they jammed him again. Now there's two outs. He went back to it, and it's on the ground a second. So the Rockies get a run, but they fail to take advantage. Of which is surprising. It's actually a lot better than righties are hitting. A lot of purple. This is going to be a tough play for Story. Span can run. And it stays in play, fortunately. That's a nice break for the Rockies. This is in the air to fairly deep left field. Desmond with a good read and a good route. Two gone. And takes off 0 2. Nope. And he went. Strike three. That'll end the end. Chris Russell does his thing. It is such a poignant photograph. This ball's crushed deep left, way back. Take a good look. You won't see it for long. Tie ball game. Number 10 for Story. Well, it was a rough four or five weeks to start the season for Trevor. But lately, it's been a lot of fun to watch. Because of 10 home runs, as you mentioned, 28 RBIs. He's hitting six out of his last seven games. Two for three today, and boy, he does not miss this one. And this is in the air to right field. Versatile Gorky's Hernandez makes the catch. Valenka drives one high and deep left field. Get up, get out. Rockies lead it. Pinch hit bomb. Patty Barrels. Back to back days for Patty that he's had a pinch hit. Yesterday with the single to drive in the run, this time he's driving himself in. Two pitch hit home runs in this series for the Rockies. Third time this year they've had a pitch hit home run. On the ground, how, the second, Blackman. I want to bring how, something up for you. Real quick, how loud were those two home runs? Loud. Extremely loud. Gotta love teammates to keep you grounded. And that's up the middle of base hit. LeMayhew, who's been wearing out the Giants himself, he's had two four hit games in this series. But Nolan was awake from his first at bat to this at bat. Leads off with a triple to right field. Falls it up with a little single to right. 
And then a double to drive in DJ in the sixth inning. And now we just need a third home run this inning. Well, DJ takes off, and it doesn't matter as Nolan strikes out in the inning. Trevor Story led off with a bomb 20 rows up to left to tie it. Scott Ober, you had Carlos up earlier. Tough spot to try to bring him back, but there's the hey, stop. There's the stop. That's it's a, a great pitch. Out. Buddy really wants to stay away from him, give him two full days off because he had thrown a lot this week. This ball's hit the center field pretty well. It's carrying and a leaping catch made out there by Blackman. Charlie saves extra bases. Looks it all the way in in the Subaru Super Mode. Times his leap, knows that he has a couple steps before he runs into the wall. And this is popped up and playable. And Jordan Lyles does a great job. Well done, Jordan Lyles. Well, that oh, backed my. up and it was called a strike. This has popped up. Bell. Cargo rips it to right field. And even had Panic been in the rover spot, he wouldn't have gotten to that. So Cargo with a base hit with two outs. Foul tip, and it's held by Posey. So we will go to the ninth inning. The Rockies three and the Giants two that Brandon Crawford hit. This is hard on the ground and Nolan good pickup. With time he throws out Hill one done. Yeah, four oh. pitch walk. Eighth place hitter. High fly ball deep left field it is. Gone. Just like we were saying, dangerous guy. And then you walk the guy in front of him. And now the Rockies trail four to three. Span of 64 at bats. Two outs. This is going to die in front of Desmond. Panic reaches. They had him picked off and a high throw from Reynolds. And it goes a stolen base. Of the season for Panic. Mark got way underneath that. And that's going to bring home another run. That'll be a double for Crawford. And that is a costly stolen base. He's given up three here in the ninth. Two two got it. work to do in the bottom of the ninth for the Rockies. Three runs for the Giants. And a ground ball sharply hit. Panic with the backhand, and that wow. is one out. Tapia, fly ball, shallow center, it'll drop. And that will bring the tying run to the plate in Blackman. The pitch hitter now one for five. We saw a swing like this the other night where he dumps it into center field on a low pitch off the end of the. Charlie loops one to center. This one's going to drop also. Exactly what we were talking about. First and third. That should have been a routine fly ball. Span couldn't get there. And the Rockies have two on. And it would have been an out. But with the no doubles depth and how deep they're playing, a lot of green out there. Tapia goes to third. And a ground ball toward that hole on through base hit. Blackman's going to go first to third. Safe there. DJ comes through. Five to four. 
tying run with one out 90 feet away. DJ do hits it right there. With a five hopper, but again, because of the alignment, it sneaks through. And Charlie hustling the whole way, beats the throw into third base. This is Bang Bay at third. 36 ribbies for DJ on an 0-2 pitch. And you have the absolute right guy at the plate in Nolan Arenado. And the Rockies one for one for eight now with runners in scoring position. And Nolan's day started off great and has a chance to end great. It's a triple. A single and a double to left field for an RBI. And again, now we talk defensive alignment for the third straight hitter. Because of that runner at third being the tying run, it sucks the outfielders in a little bit. Nolan's a power guy. <laughs> Gapper. Yeah, I don't where you're going with that. DJ can run when he's underway. So plus the infield too. They're playing a little bit more shallow up the middle. They're playing double play depth so that ball can sneak by. The, your range isn't as great. And any kind of dirt ball, you have an aggressive, fast guy at third in Blackman. Here we go. High fly ball, deep left field. Way back. Oh, Rockies winner. How do you like that? a cycle. He just went cargo. Walk off cycle. How do you like these 2017 Rockies? <laughs> Love them. Love them. He's bleeding a little bit, but it'll be all right. Last time he got cut, he did pretty well also. <laughs> I got goosebumps. Remarkable. What do we say going into this inning? This club never quits. And I said his day started off great, it has a chance to end great. Didn't waste a lot of time on our Jimmy John's delivery of the game. First pitch for Mark Melanson. See you later. Happy Father's Day. Wow. Coming to a theater near you, the Summer of the Rockies 2017, and it's just getting going. Spilly with the man of the moment. Nolan, what are you feeling right now? Cycle, walk off, you just screamed at the crowd. Listen to the crowd right now. Yeah. Man, it's a dream come true, man. I, I'm so thankful. I thank God. My head hurts a little bit. I got hit when the dog ball. But I love these fans, man. This is what it's all about. We keep fighting. We don't quit. And that's why we won today. Tell me about that last at bat. You're going for the cycle. I know it's not in your mind, but when it went out, what were you feeling? Oh my God, I, I just thank God, man. I, I didn't even know what to think, but uh, my whole goal was to get the ball to the outfield. We have a chance to tie the game, but thank God the ball went out, man. But uh, I'm just so thankful we won. How about these fans the last couple days, over 48,000 every single night? The best, man. The best. Let's go! Let's go. No, these fans are the best. We're winning ball games. They're getting loud, man. It's fun, man. It's fun to be in Denver right now, that's for sure. All right, go dry off. Happy Father's Day. Guys, yeah, back to you. All right, Spilly. Wow, wow, wow. Unbelievable.